It's a cold Friday evening here in London and we're on an away day. Now, I'm not actually a Burnley fan, but I had so much fun at Turf Moor a few weeks ago, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna come back for a round two. Remember, this season we're visiting all 20 Premier League stadiums and earlier on today, I did a West Ham London Stadium tour. Also, I did a bit of a exploring around the old Upton Park, the bowling ground. There's not a lot left, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all the stadium tours. That was number nine. And today, or this evening, should I say, we're gonna be ticking off number 10 the beautiful Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, we're gonna be back here in a couple of weeks for an actual stadium tour, but today I'm gonna to try and show you exactly what it's like here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on match day. So all the little fine details in and around the ground, we're not gonna probably cover today. We're gonna to save those for two weeks time. And uh, yeah, today just basically soak up the match day atmosphere, grab a point and uh, just enjoy ourselves basically. So I've done a little bit of exploring around the ground and what's most unique about this ground is it's an absolute obviously beast of a stadium, uh, ultra modern but what's weird about it is it's set amongst terraced housing so it's really old school for the fact that you've got obviously a massive over one million pound stadium and then you've just got complete random terraced housing. I know it's the old site where White Hart Lane Stadium used to be but really, really unique. And that's what separates it from, for example, the West Ham London Stadium we saw earlier. Right, enough of that. It's supposed to be an away day, not a bloody home day. I've got the Burnley hat. I'll get it on in a minute. Let's go over to that away end. And I'm really looking forward to getting in that beautiful stadium. Absolutely buzzing. I'm not going to go into too much depth. I'm not going to go to the club shop today. As I mentioned, we're going to be back in two weeks' time. But I'm at a point. I was getting a bit tired. I've had a long day. But that point has given me one last burst. And uh, bring it on. FA Cup. I've got that FA Cup feeling. Let's go. Score prediction, if I'm honest. I think it's going to be a 3-0 Spurs win. But obviously... I'm, I'm in the away end, so I've got to be uh, I've got to be blindly optimistic. So I'm going to go with a sneaky Burnley 1-0 win. It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> Oh, this 
Burnley today. Stop it. 3 0 Burnley, come on. As you've already guessed, we're in safe standing. So much better in safe standing than sitting down. We're hoping everyone that stands up will be nice. It's got to be said, it is absolutely beautiful stadium. Uh, really, really nice. Really glad that we're nice and close to the Tottenham fans. Tottenham fans behind. Hopefully Burnley take the lead and we can kind of give them some stick. Be nice.
close. So close. Oh my god. clubs move from their home of many years such as West Ham did or Arsenal sometimes they lose a bit of their DNA a bit of their identity uh, and the atmosphere suffers as a result but I think Spurs definitely are the exception I didn't have the fortune of going to the old White Hart Lane but even watching on the telly even prior to that game the, the atmosphere comes through the TV screen. The atmosphere at the Spurs or the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is good. I mean, today wasn't the best of games. It was a one nil -er. I thought it, I thought we were going to have our very first nil-nil on Rise Football Paradise. But it, you know, ended up one nil, of course. But it would have been a good nil-nil nonetheless. It was back and forth. Burnley kind of reminded me a bit of Man United. They were basically trying to play it out from the back and struggling, getting themselves in trouble. But they were half decent on the counter-attack. So it was exciting. Now, speaking of Man United, we're going to be watching another Spurs game next weekend because, of course, we'll be back in the Stretford End at Old Trafford as we watch Manchester United versus Spurs. I've got nothing against Spurs, by the way. I don't, I don't mean to uh, root against Spurs two weeks in a row. They're probably my favourite London team, actually, out of all the London teams because I had a, had a real hatred for Arsenal growing up because of the, the fierce rivalry in the late 90s, early 2000s with Arsenal, with Wenger's Arsenal. So naturally, I could sympathise with Spurs. I've always liked Spurs. I liked Harry Kane. Obviously, I like Son, Madison, etc. now. But we are going to be rooting against them next week as well. I must have a slight obsession with Spurs because obviously we're going to be there the following week for that Tottenham Hotspur Stadium tour as well. Ladies and gents, apologies for looking so rough in this video, especially today. It was a long ass day yesterday. I got up about midnight, went straight into the milk round, about six hours later, got changed, drove down to London, took about three hours, did the West Ham tour, did the Upton Park tour, and then obviously watched the game. So I only had a couple of hours sleep, and I've only had a few hours sleep this morning, so I'm up bright and early. The missus needed a lift somewhere. We share a bloody car, don't we? So. All this graft is all hopefully worth it because I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you did, stick a thumbs up. I don't mind missing some sleep to watch some football. I'm enjoying life. It's all good. And I hope you're enjoying these videos too. So there we go. Check out these videos to the side of me right now. We've got lots of stadium tours and match day vlogs coming up. And I'll see you in the next video.